What we're going to be looking at here is environmental liabilities here, and they're referred to as asset retirement obligations here, or AROs. We'll refer to them in our abbreviation, abbreviated form here as AROs. Now, there are existing legal obligations associated with the retirement of long-lived assets here, the cleanup costs for these long-lived assets. We're going to be going through an example here and how we'd account for these here in our financial statement reporting. But before we get into that, let's go and look at um, what a better definition definition of what they would be here. So asset retirement obligations, again, AROs, uh, the, that's the e legal obligating events here would include like, we'll go through them here, but that would be for the environmental cleanup of toxic waste sites, both the air and the ground cleanup here. So number one here, you might have decommissioning of nuclear facilities. Two, dismantling, restoring, and reclamation of oil and gas properties here. Three, certain reclamation and removal costs of mining facilities here and for closure and post closure costs of landfill. So we got a broad uh, number of items here that would be considered uh, AROs here for cleanup costs. Now first for our accounting here. So our recognition of asset retirement obligation again our AROs again the environmental cleanup costs for our accounting here. So we measure initially measure the ARO at the fair value the company would have to pay to settle the ARO. That is uh, what it's worth what it would cost in today's dollars for the clean up in the uh, in the future here that would be required here and again you can be using the present value of the estimated cost and we'll go through that here so two cost associated with the AOR IRO is included in the carrying amount of the related long-term asset. You do not capitalize it separately. You just include it here in your uh, carrying amount of your long-term asset. Number three, you allocate cost of the ARO to the expense over the asset's useful life, and that would be indeed depreciation and interest expense. And you can use the straight line depreciation method here. So let's go and look at our example here. So we've got this oil distribution company here that purchases a gas and oil distribution center. This is where they're going to set up and distribute their gas and oil from this this center here. And on they do they make this purchase here on 1120X1 yeah, for $1.2 million for this distribution center. And it will operate it here for five years, at which time it is legally responsible to remove the underground storage tanks at an estimated cost of $140,000. So five years in the future here, they're going to have to clean up this uh, Sent or this area here, and they're going to have to remove these underground storage tanks that was used for gas and oil. So the question is, how should this be reported here in our financial statements? So the first thing we have to do is we have to deal with this ARO estimated cost here. So we've got $140,000 here, and that was based on our purchase date here on 1120X1, and that's what we're saying it's going to cost here our estimate to clean it up here in 20x5 or five years later when we have to remove these tanks and that would be our fair values. Now what we're going to do here because our fair, our fair value is going to actually be uh, the present value of this $140,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to discount it back to what this $140,000 would be worth in today's dollar. This is the cleanup cost here five years in the future. So uh, what I'm going to use is just a 6% interest rate here, five years, discount the $140,000 back at the end of the period. And its present value, what it would be worth or cost in today's dollars is $104,616. Again, that's the present fair value or the present value of this ARO, the cleanup costs of $140,000 discounted back here to its present value here. So let's go look at how we'd record this here. So first thing we want to look at here is this liability account, this ARO liability again, again for oil and gas ARO. So what we would do here on our balance sheet on our, for a liability for the ARO, we'd credit it here for the present value or what it would cost here in today's dollar, $104,616. Now that was on one one x1 here. And let's just continue on with that here. So what we would do on our again for capitalizing uh, this amount here. What we we have our distribution center here for this oil and gas here. Again on our balance sheet as a long-term asset here. Um, we would take in this ARR liability we would be capitalizing it here. Debit 
our distribution center account here for $104,616. Again at 1120X1. Well, we also purchased the distribution center here for $1.2 million, so we would debit that or capitalize it. The point is here, we want to include this ARO liability in the same account here as uh, what we do for uh, our capitalizing uh, this distribution center. We want to include it in the same account here. Debit the cost of this cap, uh, distribution center at $1.2 million dollars plus the uh, ARO liability here, this cleanup liability, its present value here, $104,616. Again, here at the purchase date or we're our start date here of 20X1. So let's continue on with this liability here. What we've done is we've, okay, we put down the $104,616. Uh, now, what we have to do is, and somehow we have to assign an interest expense to this this hundred and four thousand six hundred and sixteen dollars and what each year you could pick out a different interest rate but I'm just going to use that six percent interest rate that we were talking about the cost of capital at that point and for each year here all I'm going to do is take the present value here hundred four thousand six hundred sixteen dollars times the six percent interest rate and I'm going to have an interest or an interest expense here on our income statement we're going to recognize an interest expense on our income statement sixty two to, uh, that would be equate to $6,276 here. So what we're doing is we're actually increasing our liability here on our balance sheet here by that interest expense each year here, $6,276. So we started out with $104,616, and then each year we add that interest expense here uh, um, that we calculated, and we're going to come up with a total amount here of $136,660. So that's what our liability here uh, if, at the end of the fifth year would be for this cleanup here, based on this interest uh, expense here and what we initially uh, determined our fair value or our present value to be here. So you can see that here. Just to make a point here, set up your ARO liability here and then you would recognize that interest expense here in your income statement each year here, year one through year five, $6,276. Okay, so we've got that covered here. Now let's move over again to this asset account here. Again, we put that $1.2 here I separated them out here they could be included the idea is you they're all under the same account here now we have to also depreciate this ARO here so we set up our accumulated depreciation account now I broke them out here for both the um, initial cost here the asset plus our ARO value I broke them out here but we're gonna be they're really part of the same depreciation expense so for our oil and gas ARO here on our balance sheet all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the present value here of our ARO liability here at the beginning 1120x1 and I'm going to depreciate that on a straight line basis here for five years. So we would take the $104,616 here divided by five years and we're going to get up a accumulated depreciation here of $20,923 per year here and then that's depreciating this uh, ARO here. Uh, the asset the, what we've charged to our asset account here for this distribution center so that depreciates the um, present value here hundred four thousand six hundred and sixteen dollars through for each of the years here year one through year five to twenty thousand nine hundred and twenty three dollars simply a straight line depreciation here and just to note here the um, this hundred and one point two million dollars for the cost of the distribution center. That's just that was the assets cost here. We also let's move down here. We also depreciate that here. Just to point that out here. The accumulated depreciation on the distribution center itself. Again, it was one point two million dollars here. Divide the straight line method I'm over five years here. So we're gonna get two hundred and forty thousand dollars per year here. Credit our accumulated depreciation here for the purchase or the cost of this oil and gas distribution center. Okay, so we've the point is we have to, we're going to be de de depreciating our ARO here as well as our cost of the distribution and center itself. The ARO, remember, is the cleanup cost that we have to perf uh, do five years into the future. Okay, so now we've taken care of our uh, depreciated our asset, both the ARO and the uh, depreciation here on the cost of the 
asset itself here. So what we want to do is we'll just move over here to our depreciation expense here on our income statement and I've just shown it here for both the ARO and the distribution center itself. So all we do is we take uh, whatever the depreciation the accumul or the depreciation each year for both our ARO here at twenty thousand nine hundred and twenty three dollars plus the depreciation here for um, our the cost here of this uh, distribution center at two hundred and forty thousand so just add them up here we get two hundred and sixty thousand nine hundred and twenty three dollars per year here for a depreciation expense for our ARO on our income statement again here depreciation expense so that includes both the ARO plus the distribution et cetera. Total amount two six two hundred sixty nine hundred and twenty three dollars each year here, year one through year five. Recognizes depreciation expense on the income statement. Okay, so now let's take uh, go down here at the end of 20x5 when we actually have to remove these tanks and let's just look at how we'd record them here. So we take our say it's going to actually cost us $150,000 to do it. We initially estimated at $140,000 and then we had to discount it back here but uh, we're going to say it actually is going to cost us $150,000. So how we'd record that here is uh, we take our ARO. Now that's at the end of year five here. Remember that was that $136,060. So let's move up here and look at that again here. So remember our ARO liability here, we started out with 104616 plus that interest expense each year we come up with $136,060 here. So moving back down to our entry here. So remove a lot of tanks. We credit our ARO, remove that off the books here at that $136,060 here. We have the cash that we actually paid at $150,000 so the balancing amount goes to a loss here on our income statement. Just the balancing amount $13,940. Now had it actually cost us less um, to remove the tanks than what our ARO was uh, liability was up to here at the end of year five then we would have had a gain but in this case I'm just showing uh, a loss here so that's how you would handle that here at the at the cleanup date here in this case so let's just go through it one more time here remember when you're doing these uh, asset retirement obligations you have to set up your um, a liability account here for what it's going to actually cost you in the future here for um, the cleanup here of these uh, environmental cleanups on a long-term asset where you've got some contractual or some legal requirements to clean them up. So you start out with whatever the fair value, in this case we use the present value, then you have to include some interest expense for each of those years. So that interest rate might change, but nonetheless you got to include some interest expense. And then the other, and then you would uh, recognize here as an interest expense on your income statement, whatever your amount is here, and then you, you're actually increasing that liability uh, from the beginning when you actually had your initial um, major determination here that made the purchase here of this facility, and then you determine what your cleanup was, you actually increase that liability each of the years here. We increase it from 104, we added our interest expense, come up with our total liability here, an increase. And then the other point you want to make here, when you do record this liability, you also um, record it as part of the same asset account here um, on your that long-term asset for the cleanup here. You include that in your same, under the same asset account here. In this case it was distribution center. You would add that in here to it and then you would depreciate it. You can depreciate the total amount here or I just broke it down here where you depreciate showing how you would depreciate both the ARO and the distribution center itself. So just remember that. So and then this distribu uh, accumulated depreciation which is a contra asset account to our di distribution center here that gets recognized here is depreciation expense here on your income statement. So that's how you would handle these AROs here. Just remember there's a lot of, uh, can be a lot of variables here on your interest rates and that, but this is just the basic approach that you would be using.